everyone welcome back to my channel um, so lots of afterburners there um, what's missing I'll get on to that in a second anyway um, just want to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers um, it does make a difference all your watches your likes your shares they all go towards helping me improve these projects and move things forwards so first off let's deal with the uh, the elephant in the room I built the uh, starter unit or the uh, starter control unit for the bike um, I was quite pleased how it turned out um, ordered some new batteries to do the start with and uh, the first set were faulty and um, we're talking about a set of batteries two large uh, 5S LiPo cells at 20,000 milliamp hours you're looking at like five six hundred pound so I sent them back because they were faulty uh, another pair arrived and again they were faulty so as with everything with the bike it just seems that it it, <laughs> it wants to be awkward uh, I think is the only way I can describe it so that's it I'm, I'm not spending any more time on the bike I'm going to move on to something else well I say something else uh, I've already built one of these engines I'm going to build another of the new engines um, there is a, a video which I'll put a, a link to somewhere uh, or down below with an animation of the engine but I'll be going through the engine in a little bit more detail showing you some CAD drawings that we then used for the um, the cam which uh, Terry did the uh, the CNC work for me but as I said at the beginning the thing that's missing from those videos of the afterburners is we've got no Mac diamond and that I know of no DIY gas turbine engine has ever produced a, a Mac diamond so the aim with this uh, is to build a new engine or another of the, the new engines uh, put it in a test stand get a, a, a proper stra strain gauge uh, a, a, a proper turbo taco unit so we can really see what speed I mean these turbo taco units are 300 pounds so guys keep watching my videos uh, just basically so we can push it to the limit and we think well on paper it says we should be able to get a Mac diamond cause with some added risks we are going to be pushing the thing probably as hard as it's ever going to be pushed uh, there's some risks we could lose uh, an afterburner we don't know yet but the benefit of doing this and building it into a test stand is that for the cart with the engine in we then know how much further we can push the engine and in the cart and hopefully get similar results which is obviously going to improve the speed that the cart gets to which at the end of the day we want another world record so anyway I'll uh, go through quickly uh, the drawings or the 3D of the, the engine just explain but as we build this new engine I'll go through everything I'll go through making of the the making of the fuel rail how the NGV works design decisions we made so let's have a quick look at the engine we've got a cross-sectional drawing of the uh, the engine here I've, I've left the compressor wheel out to a wheel and the shaft and the bearings I just wanted to give you a general breakdown of the internals basically and how it's kind of all put together we've got the the bell mouth there which I'll just remove to make everything easier the front cover the compressor wheel would sit in this space and the air gets drawn in here and then take the front cover away the air is forced into these channels and turn through 90 degrees with the, the curve of the front cover and then the vanes on the front plate which you can see here I mean these are all I've had to draw these from scratch and then work with uh, Terry we've got the oil, main oil gallery here oil comes in at the back of the front diffuser plate it's cross drilled there 
down there and there is two cross drillings which then go into the brass bushes here there's all the bearing assembly that fits in here and then the return again they all drains out here down and down out through the engine here we've got the, the flame tube you notice this flame tubes like folded back on itself if you look at a normal DIY gas turbine it's just a, a long straight tube fuel comes in here holes for the primary zone are all here so first question is to you guys who can tell me what's different from a normal homemade jet engine something like these uh, jet joes or the wrens um, just comment below so there's the the primary zone secondary and the tertiary you'll notice that the alignment of these holes here the cooling holes are to blow as far as possible to cool the ng reed blades You've got the inner wall there again air in here down the inside mixes with the fuel burns here and then this hopefully keeps well it, it has done in the design keeps the the shaft cool and then we've got the ngv section and the turbine wheel would sit there i know it's a quick just overrun but i just wanted you to see what's uh, how the engines all put together but we'll go through every part as, as it's fabricated any questions you've got you can ask about about to how the design decisions were made and uh, as I say please comment below um, what you think is different about this design as opposed to uh, the more normal um, DIY gas turbines that use evaporators so that's it for a look at the engine I hope that was interesting for some of you as I say the plan is is to go through and um, do every part of the build with you, try and explain, answer any questions that some of you might have about how you build a jet engine. But uh, for that, for now, guys, that's it. Keep safe. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and do all the good things that you do. And uh, I know it's going to probably take a few months, especially with how things are at the moment. We're just going back into lockdown in the UK, but um, just uh, keep safe, guys. Till next time, take care.